Okay, so things are really bad in the tech industry. Layoffs are a hard reality. So please forgive me a bit of a dad level humor here as I start things out with likely a much needed joke. You know you're in the tech industry when your job security feels like a game of Survivor. The only difference is, instead of voting people off the island, they just hand you your pink slip. Wow. I can actually hear your groans from the future. Hey, Grant, we really need to punch up the jokes here. We're gonna do them. No, you do it, you do it, you do it. Okay, seriously, the ups and downs of job cuts in media and tech sectors are starting to accelerate. Layoffs and economic turbulence, even the biggest companies are finding themselves caught off guard in this situation. The touch of humor today, we're going to cover the surprising twists and turns in a job market and share some insights on what the future holds. And maybe some suggestions. Here we go. First, a brief disclaimer. If this is your first time here on the channel, first of all, please hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't hit subscribe yet and you've been here a few times, please subscribe. I'm trying to get the channel over 10K by the middle or end of July. That'd be fantastic. But if this is your first time or it's your thousandth time, understand and you probably know that I use humor as a coping mechanism like many other people. It just it just helps. It helps me get through the day. And this video contains humor that's intended for entertainment purposes only. I acknowledge that there's very serious matters being discussed here, uh, especially when we're talking about the nature of job cuts and the economic challenges that are now faced by individuals and companies. And I'm just aimed to bring a lighthearted perspective without undermining the impact of these events. So with that being said, let's get to this story. It'll be fun. In a tale that seems to be told far too often, companies have forced layoffs uh, in significant portions of their staffing. We don't have to look any farther than Disney, who took uh, the initial spotlight with plans to lay off about 7,000 employees, which I believe they've already exceeded. My guess is we're headed towards 12,000 and it could be more than that because after the busy park season this summer, Florida's gonna get a lot skinnier. Now, of course, Disney focused primarily on their media sector or their media divisions when they made these cuts. But hold on to your Mickey ears here. Media companies, it seems, across the board are tightening their belts and announcing a whopping 10,320 job cuts in the first quarter of this year. While the media industry is feeling the heat, the tech sector takes the crown for the wildest job cut spree in, well, a very long time. Right now, there's a mind-boggling 22,800 layoffs announced in May alone. They've truly in Embrace the saying, go big or go home. I know that's a terrible joke. That's hilarious. Great joke, great joke. It's actually more akin to Game of Thrones at this point where even the nerdiest tech finds themselves questioning their coding skills and waiting for the ax to fall. What's crazy here is that if you compare the numbers from last year, we have a 2,939% increase in labor loss in that sector alone. That's insane. And what sparked the frenzy, everybody's gonna ask. Well, tech companies got very aggressive and they went into a hiring spree during the pandemic, thinking that the good times would roll indefinitely. Well, I mean, they probably had a little foresight, but look, it's Meta, Alphabet, Amazon, and all of the others that basically pumped up their ranks to support what was happening in the background. They were expecting the boom to last longer than a modern Marvel movie. But surprise, surprise, well, not surprising to me, the market had other plans. This is leaving big tech scrambling to restructure their businesses and elevate the quality of their talent for the first time, instead of just hiring anybody that meets a quota. Now, while the job market may look a bit gloomy, don't despair, not yet anyway, because top economists predict a softer recession on the horizon. Seriously? Softer? That's the adjective they want to use? Got a better one. It's not like the economy decided to like take a vacation to Bermuda instead of like unleashing its full wrath upon us. What? 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 It's like a, a mini recession with a side of optimism served on a silver platter. Really? Ooh, out of touch. But Let's not forget the broader job market, uh, which remains largely intact for now. There are a lot of jobs available. There seem to be a lot of seats in this game of musical chairs, even though a lot of the seats are disappearing. Unfortunately, it's some really good jobs and a lot of really good people are losing them. But if you're feeling nervous about job security, just take a deep breath because there are jobs out there. 
just take the necessary steps and put a polish on your resume and update your LinkedIn profile. And if you do that now, before you leave, well, you're gonna have access to all the assets and resources that will allow you to flesh it out fully because once a company lets you go, all those resources disappear. So it's always good to keep everything up to date, especially in times like these. Now, as we navigate these difficult times, I suggest the power of love and laughter. Laughter, most importantly. No, I take that back. Love, most importantly. Laughter, close second. And because the job market right now feels kind of like a roller coaster, a good chuckle is one of the best ways to hold on tight. No matter how tough things get, there's always room for a giggle or two. Who knows? Maybe the laughter will be the secret ingredient to the economic recovery. I surely hope so. Anyway, stay positive, stay strong, and keep that smile on. If you have any thoughts on this particular video or on job hunting tips, that would be fantastic. Please drop those thoughts down below in the comments section. And be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others. Wash your hands, of course, because it's good hygiene. Until next time, Today, be sure you're subscribed and hit that for alerts. Yay! Of course, like and share all of the videos that you can as it helps with the algorithm. Have a great day.